Hi guys, this is going to be Ariella's two month update. This is literally the fifth or sixth time um, I tried to upload this video. Um, at first my camera kept dying and then my um, memory card wasn't working and then once I did finally get a chance to try and record it a second or third time um, then my videos wouldn't upload on YouTube. Oh no. And now it's getting fuzzy. Okay, we're good. <laughs> All right, so yeah, this has been a pretty um, crazy past couple of days. So yeah, let's just get this started before something else crazy happens again. So Ariella is two months old. She weighs 10 pounds, 9 ounces, and she is 21 and a half inches um, in height. Um, so she's growing very well, the doctor said, which is great because I'm still exclusively breastfeeding. Which is really great for me to know that, you know, I'm doing my job as, you know, eating well and doing the right things. And um, she's doing her job as well by, you know, latching on correctly and getting all the nutrition and all the goodies she needs to get for my breast milk. So that's really great. Okay. So now that Ariella is two months old, um, she's definitely awake for longer periods throughout the day. She usually wakes up around 8 o'clock-ish, um, around the same time that Allie wakes up. And um, when she was in that newborn stage, she would just want to, you know, eat, get changed, and just kind of go back to sleep. But now that she's, you know, getting closer to, you know, three months and she's getting older now, she's actually awake for longer periods. And she's able to, you know, just eat, get her diaper changed, and able to kind of, you know, um, play a little bit in her crib by herself, kind of entertain herself, which is really great also. It helps... Um, give me more time to get breakfast ready, um, to kind of get myself ready, and um, it definitely makes my day a lot more easier to start. So Ariella has been noticing her hands more often before, you know, she kind of noticed them, but now altogether she definitely has figured out, you know, how to maneuver them a lot better, how to get them in her mouth to suck on, and she's actually able to kind of self-soothe herself with her hands now also. She is able to, you know, if she's crying for a minute or two while I'm taking Allie to the potty, she's able to kind of, you know, suck on her hand for maybe a minute or two and kind of, you know, help herself calm back down, which is really great also because I see her kind of becoming a little bit more um, independent. Of course, she's still too young to, you know, let them stay crying for long periods of time or anything like that. So, I mean, she's not crying for a long period of time or anything like that. Just, you know, a really short moment um, if I'm doing something with Allie for a second and she has to cry for a minute or two. She's able to, you know, kind of self-soothe herself and kind of buy me some extra time also to finish doing what I'm doing really quickly and then I can go back to her and do what I need to do for her as well. Come on, camera. Ariella has been doing a lot more interacting lately also. She has been doing more cooing and making cute little like gurgling sounds and things like that. She, you know, tries to interact with me when I play with her now. She smiles and um, tries to laugh. It's so cute and it's so crazy how they go from just being this little tiny newborn baby, all fragile, and barely open up their eyes, you know, when you first give birth and things like that to them, to, you know, just simple two months later they're able to you know interact with you and smile at you and actually they can start to recognize your face as well I've noticed that you know if she hears my voice from afar she will actually turn her head and try and see you know you know like where's mommy where is she you know she tries to find me with her eyes and she'll smile when she, when she finds me it is so cute Ariel is definitely getting to become this really chunky baby um, you know, when they're newborn, sometimes, you know, they still have some of those newborn wrinkles. But she's been gaining weight very, very well. And, you know, her wrinkles are all filled in now. Now she has, like, huge baby thighs and all those little baby rolls. I mean, it is so cute. Um, so she actually wears a size six months, believe it or not. She doesn't need it for the height. She needs it just for, you know, the waist, you know. She can't really fit it um, the size three months bottoms anymore. They're like too tight around her fat belly. So she can only fit her pants in a size six months. And then in tops, she is three to six months, which is so crazy how things are so different because Alessandra was actually more on a thinner side, and um, but she was really, really like tall. 
it's just she's like tall and lean opposed to Ariella where she's a lot shorter and a lot more chunk here so it's so crazy how you know your kids are so different I mean it's so cute at the same time you know whipping out all those cute old clothes that Allie used to wear and putting them on Ariella now it brings back a lot of memories and sometimes it gets me a little teary-eyed thinking I can't believe you know before I know it she's gonna be two years old just like Allie and and my babies are no longer going to be my babies. It's crazy. Alright guys, so that was Ariella's two-month update. I know this was super, super quick, but um, I don't really have much time because she usually wakes up, a, up from a nap around this time and I want to try and get this done um, as quickly as possible just in case it doesn't work again. Um, so yeah, so if you want to find out any more information from her two-month update or read back on anything from this video, go and check out emeraldcharmingmotherhood.blogspot.com. Feel free to read all of my entries and keep up to date with anything that's going on with me and the girls. I usually do my um, blog before I actually make any videos, so you can always go check that out. So I'll see you guys for her three-month update next month. Bye!